Have you ever met those special people that, well, they seem to have everything going for them? Everything seems to fall into place in their life. They seem to live a charmed life. They may be chosen, but here's something interesting. You may be one of the chosen ones too. Hi everyone, Robert Zenk, your miracle mentor and alchemy success coach. And I want to remind you that we have some new content up at miraclehypnosisonline.com. It's funny, but people that are chosen like to go within themselves. They like to make change from the inside out and miracle hypnosis online is the perfect resource. We are adding new content every single week to miracle hypnosis online. And it doesn't make any difference what your challenge is. We will have something there to help you. So you may be feeling a strong call, a call to maybe change locations. It's time to move or to be with someone else or a different career path altogether. You may have a call to start a new business, whatever that call is, it's usually indicative of the fact that you listen to your inner self. You listen to your inner self, which is connected to source energy. It's connected to the mind of God. And so you have this, wonderful, unique connection. And you don't listen to other people, you know, I mean, you do listen to them, but you don't put their opinions ahead of your own. You put your own opinion first and foremost in your life as to how you want to live your life. Now, maybe you can't put your finger on it right now, but you feel a call to a destiny, to a different life to a different lifestyle to it's almost like entering a different timeline. And as I said, you can't put your finger on it, but you feel the call and you know, you're being called and you don't want to stay where you're at anymore. Now you may not know when the change took place or how the change took place, but something shifted inside you and you're just operating at a different vibration. You're just operating at a different frequency. Life is very different for you now than it was before your personal shift somewhere, somehow in all of this, you've come to the conclusion or the inner knowingness that you truly are master of your own destiny. You truly are co-creator of your own reality. And that creative process that was maybe being pushed aside is now being allowed to flow into your life, into a new level of living, of consciousness, a higher version of you. I don't know how to say this any more clearly, but you now understand finally that you create your own reality. Everything in the universe vibrates everything. As Bob Proctor used to say, we live in an ocean of motion, everything from the solar system to the planets, to your very desires. They're nothing more than vibrations, nothing more than a frequency. And you now understand how to change the frequency and thus change your reality and thus create the life you desire. Some people call it miraculous or miracles. Others simply call it the law of attraction. As a chosen one, you have moved into alignment with source, with the universe, with God. You have incredible manifesting powers within you. And you are now maybe for the first time in your life, or maybe you've always known it but you're now awakened to these incredible manifesting powers as a chosen one. You have the unique ability 
to connect, to align with truth, with authenticity. You are drawn to authenticity and you repel that which is false because of your higher vibrational alignment, because of the shift that you've gone through, you choose only to associate with those people who, who desire to live an authentic life, who desire to live a life of truth, of peace, of prosperity, of abundance, of love, of happiness. And the other people that want to live in jealousy and anger and fear and doubt, you kind of push them away. They're no longer a part of your reality. You choose not to waste your time with those who are insincere or untrustworthy. You are a chosen one. And here are five signs that you are. You've noticed that untrustworthy people, people that are insincere, that are not living their authentic self, you kind of push them away. You just don't want anything to do with them. Or more importantly, you don't even need to push them away. They leave on their own because they're, for lack of a better term, they're blinded by your authenticity, by your truth, by your light, by your connection with source, with the mind of God. So what happens is this creates a vacuum because as these people leave your life and they will, it's okay because new people are coming into your life who are trustworthy, who are authentic people. You can count on people who can count on you. People who live a life based on truth and love not doubt and fear and anger and jealousy. Number two, you may have gone through some difficult challenges in your life. Some of them may be emotional challenges, relationship challenges, career challenges. Maybe you've had challenges when it comes to money or health issues, but you understand that this challenge is strengthening you for something bigger, something better, something more miraculous than you've ever experienced. I know when I was in my thirties, I had a breakdown. I mean, I was bad and, uh, was going to all these doctors and having all these tests done. And my grandmother, she said to me, she said, you know, Robert, someday, you're going to be able to take what you've gone through. You're going to be able to use it to help others. That's why you're going through it now. And, uh, you know, she was right. I, I didn't understand it at the time, but whenever you go through a challenge, the universe is preparing you for something miraculous, something spectacular something absolutely wonderful. Well, number three, maybe this one should have been first, but I made it number three. You believe in source in God, in the universe, in a higher power, in a divine consciousness. You may not have identified it, you know, via religion or something like that, but you believe in it and Part of your journey you understand is to connect to that source and to learn to be guided by that source and that energy. And so you're doing that. And that's a huge sign that you are a chosen one. Well, number four is you see all kinds of signs, things that other people wouldn't necessarily find as signs, but you know, you know, the universe is talking to you. You see the number one, 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 or one, one, one. You see two, two, two sequential numbers, one, two, three, four. You see license plates. You see symbols. You see specific animals. I know for three days 
in a row, when I was taking a walk, I would see a red cardinal and it was just sitting on a bush. I, I, I became so enamored. I just thought the universe is speaking to me. And so I guess part of your job as a chosen one is to interpret or to understand what these signs mean in your life and the people around you. They're very powerful and they can be very impactful when you understand them. Number five is you are different. Maybe you are the black sheep of the family or the ugly duckling, or you've just always known that you are on a different path, a different calling. And it's, it's amazing because some people know this at an early age, they just understand that their life is different, that their calling, that their destiny is different from the rest of their family, from the rest of their peers, from the rest of their community, from the rest of their town. And that's okay. Now I'm going to give you a little word of advice. Follow your destiny, follow it, listen to it, be guided by it because it's your authenticity and it's your truth. Well, okay. So the most important time of the day is those first 10 minutes when you wake up the first 10 to 12 minutes, 15 minutes. That's the most important time of the day to set into action the energy to manifest whatever you desire. So coming up next is a special nine minute morning meditation that is designed to make each day a little bit better than the next. And you will start manifesting more of what you desire just by listening. And you can listen to it while you're eating breakfast, while you're driving to work, you can listen to it in the shower. You can listen to it while you're shaving or putting on your makeup. It doesn't matter, but listen to it every morning. Okay. It's up next.